Hey, in this video, I wanted to show you how you can use uh, OBS Ninja uh, combined with a cloud workstation in Amazon Web Services to be able to use your own video feed that um, is in your local computer, say from your webcam, or maybe you have like a capture card uh, for streaming and you've got a nicer mirrorless or DSLR hooked up and you've got a good quality video signal, but you're trying to use a workstation in the cloud uh, to work with that and do other broadcasting with it from there. So I ran into this problem really early on with using OBS um, on an AWS cloud workstation. But it, there's a really easy workaround for it or solution to it, um, and it's OBS Ninja. So OBS.Ninja is the website you'd want to go to, and it's super straightforward. You just go to add your camera to OBS. Here, it's going to give you, I recommend you do this in Chrome, um, the different browsers perform a little bit differently. Um, I'm on a Mac platform right now, and it works. OBS Ninja works really well um, with Chrome on Mac. So I've already got my sources selected here. I'm using a Blackmagic A10 Mini Pro in order to feed in um, my video from a mirrorless camera. This is a just a Sony A6500. Um, and so that's all feeding into my local Mac laptop, and that's what this browser is connecting to. So I'm going to hit Start. And then it gives me this results page. So it tells me right up here, copy this URL into an OBS browser source. And you'll notice there's a little difference in the URL it's giving me here as this link versus the one that's actually in my browser bar up here. It's push up here and it's view down here. So that's just a little clue in that there's a lot of uh, functionality um, stored in the, quick, the URL uh, parameters for these individual uh, links from OBS Ninja. And on the this view side of it, you can add um, URL parameters that adjust or control the settings uh, for the stream that you're getting from that particular contributor. So it's very fine grained control, which is awesome. Um, Steve's done such an awesome job making this. So let's just take this, let's copy to the clipboard and stop rambling about OBS Ninja and just get it in here into the browser source. So I'm going to call this one OBSN Kevin, just following the other pattern I was using, but you can obviously call it whatever you would like. I just paste that link in there, right? The view link. And then I'm going to change this to um, 1920 by 1080. And I do want to control the audio from OBS. In my case, you may have other purposes, but you just hit OK. Take it a quick second. And there you see it's now coming in on OBS. And it's as simple as that. I've got uh, my contributor feed running here on my local computer. And then using this nice DCV viewer, I can see my cloud workstation and I've got the feed working there. 